what's happening guys Shaw here with bro science bodybuilding and I just got home from a shoulder and upper trap routine I followed that up with some cardio uh, I wanted to get it over with and get the hell out of there so I decided to go with some high intensity interval training um, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about that what's the difference between high intensity interval training and low intensity steady state better known as HIT and LIS uh, so some questions that I had last year when I really started getting serious about this whole cutting body fat and bodybuilding and getting into shape, you know, were which one's better for me when I'm cutting? Which one is better to do after a workout, first thing in the morning? Uh, you know, what's the main difference between the two? Which one will help me burn more fat, especially as I got down to that 10% range. Um, once you get down to about 10% body fat, for those of you that have been there, it's very tough to get below that. Every percentage below that, you have to work very hard for. So I had to experiment with some of these, uh, these two different types to see which one helped me more uh, lose, lose those body fat percentages. So. Um, let's, let's start with some high intensity interval training. So high intensity interval training is going to be where you go one minute or a short period of time, balls to the wall, all out, followed by another short period of time with either a complete rest or a very, very slow state cardio. Um, and then you repeat that. Like for instance, when I do it on the treadmill, I go 9.0 sprint for a minute, then I go 4.0 brisk walk for a minute, and I repeat that for 20 minutes. Uh, one advantage to high intensity interval training is that it cuts your cardio time down quite a bit. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes of high intensity interval training will be equal to about 30 to 45 minutes of low intensity steady state, but remember, you have to go all out. It's, it's high intensity. So you, if you're gonna cut corners and try to cut some time and, and want to get out of the gym quicker or get your cardio over with, you do have to go all out. Um, low intensity steady state is uh, where you're just running at a steady pace. Very simple. Uh, when I do mine, it's usually a 5K. I do it a couple times a week and I run it about a 10 and a half minute mile. Um, so nothing very fast. I do a 5K, like I said. Uh, it takes me about 30 to 35 minutes there. So your heart rate, you want your heart rate to be about 60% of your max when you're doing a low intensity steady state. Uh, mine's around 120, 120 beats a minute is what my target is. Sometimes it gets to about 130, but that's fine too. Um, so for me, if I'm gonna do cardio first thing in the morning, I find that low intensity steady state is much better because I'm, first of all, I'm not limber to begin with. So especially first thing in the morning, I'm not gonna get up and start doing some sprints without some heavy stretching and warming up and I just don't have time for that in the morning. Um, so if I'm gonna do my cardio in the morning, it's a very low intensity, slow, steady cardio. Um, you know, after a workout, if I want, want to, like tonight, I wanted to get the hell out of there, I wanted to get my cardio over with, I did some jump rope, uh, high intensity interval training, and actually I, I recorded that, so check out the link here, you guys can see how I did that. Um, you can do with a rower, a jump rope, you can do it in the pool, <clears throat> um, there's many different ways to do both the hit and the list cardio. So, uh, what they mainly compare these two different types of cardio to are a sprinter and a marathon runner. So think of a sprinter as um, they're usually more muscular, have more mass, more defined, and you know they go all out for a hundred meters and then that's it. It's over in 10 seconds. Whereas compared to a marathon runner, usually thinner, lankier, less muscle de definition, but they run for hours on end. Um, so that's kind of the difference between the two. I found that when I got down to about that 10% body fat range, it was very hard, like I said, to get down, get lower beneath that. So the high intensity really helped me out. Um, I still did do some low intensity steady state 
first thing in the morning again, like I said, but um, also once a week I would mix in some high intensity and that helped me get below that 10%. I think I got to like nine or just under 9% um, and that was the lowest I got. So hopefully I can reach that again this year. You know, I'm starting to get back into it with uh, both types of cardio. So I'm really looking forward to that. If you guys have any more questions about the um, either type of, of cardio or training, just please leave a comment or question in the box below. I don't want this video to get too long, but hopefully that gave you a, a nice brief description of the difference between the two. Please don't forget to like the video if it helped you out, if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care.